How do you find out how much space you have left on your iPad? Well, let's take a look. Let's go to my iPad. First thing we need to do is go down to our settings app. I have mine located in the dock here. I tap on it to open it up. Now to view your usage, what we do is we go over to the left and then under general here, we have a number of different categories. One of them being storage and iCloud usage. This is where we can see which apps are using up the space on our iPad as well as in iCloud. Tap on it. Our first option here is for storage on the iPad. We can see how much is being used and how much is available. In my case, I'm using 8.2 gigabytes and I have 105 gigabytes available. I want to go and manage the storage. I want to see which apps are using the most storage. Well, then what we do is we go and tap on Manage Storage. Again, this is for the iPad. Tap on it. And now what it's going to do is it's going to list all of the apps and then put the apps that are using the most storage space on your iPad towards the top. This is how it is sorted. So in my case, my Photos and Camera app is using the most storage. And it's using 1.5 gigabytes. The second app that is using my most storage is Tutor for Pages for OS X. It has a number of different videos in there which take up space. Specifically, 996 megabytes of space. Now from here, we can go and delete the app. Now we can only delete apps that we've downloaded through the App Store. So when I go and tap on Tutor for Pages for OS X, I downloaded it through the App Store, tap on it, you're going to see we have Delete App. All I have to do is just tap on this and it'll delete it from the iPad. Let's go back over to Storage. If we tap on an app that was not downloaded from the App Store, such as Photos and Camera here, this is installed by Apple, so let's tap on it. We can see how much space it's using, but we cannot go and delete that app. We have the same options for iCloud. I'm going to tap on Storage here. And then I'm going to tap on Storage and iCloud Usage. Now we go to iCloud. Again, we can see how much of total storage we have and what is available. And then we can also go and manage that storage. Tap on it. And we can see which apps are using the most space in iCloud. In my case, it is iCloud Photo Library. I also have a couple of backups which are using space. From here, we can delete any of this data. So let's go and tap on iCloud Photo Library. Tap on it. I want to delete this. All we have to do is just tap on Disable and Delete. Let's go back up to Manage Storage. Let's take a look at iMovie. Tap on it. You'll notice that we do not have Delete. Well, that's because we have to go into Edit Mode. Tap on Edit. And now I can go and delete it. I can also delete individual iMovie projects. So that's how we can see how much space we're using on our iPad and which apps are using that space as well as the space available in iCloud.